Hello everyone. I hope everyone had a good holiday. This is uh I guess two days after Christmas now. Um I am now at the bottom of my test route one. I did not record that again, but great news is that it didn't make it through that turn this time. Uh, we actually had a proper light so it I didn't have any oncoming traffic to deal with. Uh, but what we're going to do now is do our target run and uh, see how it does. This is going to be our first kind of major test, if you will. This is a unprotected left, if you will. Um, making a left turn here at cross traffic. There's a car coming to my left. It should not go. Actually, again. Well, um, I actually, yeah, it's fine. Uh, I take that back. Um, I usually err on the side of caution as my uh, driving style. Um, and that actually, the car actually did a great job, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I just kind of misjudged it. I would have personally just been a little bit more patient and just kind of waited. But um, if you want to get out and go, the car did actually everything just fine. What we're going to actually be able to test here now is waypoints. I braked for that car there for some reason. Uh, I will know all phantom braking, but it definitely seems to have been improved. It's still there. Um, it still needs to be improved further. But I'm hoping that will uh, be much more mitigated than the last time we are going here. Um, yeah, waypoints. I'm hoping that will prevent us from having some weird... Um, I want to try to say, uh, having to just disengage constantly, and it'll stay on route properly, because we do not want to take the highway. Uh, I will probably change this to the highway route, maybe, uh, once we get full single stack. But um, ooh, don't do it. You're thinking about, it's thinking about going to the turn lane right there. So very good slowdown for this well actually not even a slowdown very good like behavior with that truck that pulled out previous updates would um, break for that truck so it seems like it recognizes his light so far and tried to break or that could have just been a random phantom break it should be slowing down already though uh, it it definitely should have been slowing down already but right now see if the traffic wasn't moving, this would have been too hard of a break. Because the traffic started moving and didn't have to break all the way to zero. That seemed to be better. It seemed to like not break as much for the car turning and started accelerating again as the car was turning. And again, what I wish it would do is speed up to the speed limit as you get there. This is what 90% of people do is they speed up before you get to the speed limit. Um, and then you're at the speed limit as soon as you pass the sign. Okay, so let's see if it gets in the correct lane here. It should get in there sooner, so it should just kind of just merge over. Um, that being said, it did get over at an appropriate time. We have a green light. We are good to go through, and I'm pressing it so it doesn't stop. It was it was definitely going to stop there. And it accelerated quite fast for some reason. And now we have a yellow light. It should be slowing down for gonna see here if it decides it wants to change lanes again for no reason in this spot and I hate maps the point is on the main road is like nope you want to go to this lane you definitely don't want to go on the main road and it's changing lanes to follow route there the route is straight right here there's there's no reason it should be changing lanes here. This is poor map data causing it to change lanes. 
bad routing. Nothing here that I can tell that any data that I can see shows that it should be making a lane change right here. And it does it every single time and has done that for at least the past five versions, I think, has done that. Uh, I don't believe it did it on earlier versions. We'll have to find out. I can go back in my playlist. If you want to see um, what this drive looks like in previous versions, I have playlist. Um, and that will show us what it does at different stopwise and uh, different routes and all that stuff. You can watch them side by side. My goal is to do that for you at some point. Is to go side by side and just show you what sections of each drive look like. That is my goal. And we are... Oh, I didn't mean to cancel that completely. There's a red light coming up and it should be slowing down already. I'm actually going to go ahead and start slowing it down. It's going to jam on the brakes here. It's full regen. And it's using friction brakes right now. It needs to be able to see further up ahead. Like, that's... If that is a limitation of this computer, that that unequivocally means they need a new computer or new cameras or something to be able to see further up ahead. There's no reason it shouldn't be able to see that stoplight that I was able to see. I think it's possible. They just obviously have to do more training to make it happen. And here's another section where it drops to 45. It should be dropping at least at least one mile per hour per second, I think would be inappropriate. Wow. That person with that trailer almost hit me. That was like a foot away from hitting me. For whatever reason, my, I mean, good and bad thing, my car didn't react at all. It should have braked, for sure. At least slowed down. Why are you not braking? Why are you not braking? <laughs> okay, yeah, it definitely should have braked sooner. So if you look here at this map data, this is like, I don't know what's going on right here. This doesn't look right. Last time, the last update, 10.6.1 nailed this. It did a fabulous job going through this. Um, I canceled that lane change. It should not be getting out of this lane. Oh, it is going quick. This is not as good as the last time, mostly because it's too aggressive, um, and it tried to change that lane. Right. Unnecessary lane change. No, don't do it. Look at it. That's going to be a disengagement. It's because of poor map data. It didn't do that last update. <laughs> it's, it's so disappointing that most of my disengagements are due to poor map data. Like, no joke. I think... Three fourths of my disengagements are due. To second disengagement, all because of poor map data. This is not the correct turn. As you can see, there's no turn right here. That's because it has poor map data. It thinks it needs to turn right there. You can get to target from that way, but it's not the way navigation's wanted us to go, which means it's incorrect. So we have two disengagements strictly because of poor map data. Like I said, I'm pretty sure at least 70 plus percent of my disengagements are due to poor map data. It needs to go ahead and get over right here. Yep. There are routing issues, which are, mind you, much improved since I made that routing um, video. There's a video back right when version 10 came out. I had an absolute terrible first few drives where it just constantly would mess up. Routing has definitely been improved since then, but it's still having issues, and it's mostly due to my area, just poor map data. If you go to San Francisco, you're going to have the best map data in the entire planet. Right there. It's where Google is. It's where Apple is. It's where all the mapping companies are. Uh, it's where they've been founding. And of course, you're going to have the best data where the map companies are. So 
it just makes sense to have the best map data there, especially where Google has mapped everything at LiDAR and everything. It's going to have superior map data, uh, regardless if it's the standard def maps that Tesla uses or if it's HD maps that Google uses and Apple uses and everyone else. It's going to be superior in those areas. The Tesla needs, is learning to drive based on these maps the same way we know how to drive. And, I mean, if I looked at that map back here, that doesn't say the turn, like that large of a turn. That's going to be a destination as well. Last update did not do any of these mistakes. This is also not a four-way stop. You just go straight through. Straight through. If I took my foot off the accelerator, it would have jammed on the brakes right there. Turn right. I kind of like having this camera right here. It allows me to have a better idea of what the curb looks like, how close I am to that curb. Okay, so three disengagements, everyone. Um, objectively, if you go based on just the disengagements, this is a worse drive than 10.6. Now, I'm going to pinpoint a few things I definitely think were better. I'm going to try and do this, I think, with every video, just to make it clear that I'm, like, not all negative here. Like, I, I get it that it's easy to be negative. It's easier for me, personally, to find what's worse about this version than what's better, because the things that are better are always so tiny, it's quite hard to actually distinguish. That being said, what's better is you have um, better, uh, or rather less, phantom braking. Uh, that is... the uh, I wouldn't say substantially because it still happens, but it's definitely better, uh, and that's good. Uh, overall smoothness, again, is increased. Vision is, whoever's in the vision department is nailing it. If that's Carpathy or whoever, nailing the vision department is getting better. Essentially, every update has gotten better with vision. Uh, it's able to see road lines better at night. It's able to see uh, cars up ahead better. It's able to react sooner. Uh, there's a spot on my first drive this morning where a way up ahead a car uh there was traffic stopped starting to move at a stoplight way up ahead my car decided to go ahead and get over like it wasn't even displayed on the visualization but it already decided to get over because it could see the car stop or being slow up ahead so it can get around and pass them uh stuff like that is definitely noticeably improved with this update and it's always something i'm really glad to see uh each, each update. However, it's just my biggest issues are poor map data and routing issues and stuff like that, getting in the correct lane, that type of stuff. And it's mostly due to poor map data, I believe. If I could be in an area of great map data, I think this version, it would be quite incredible what this would be able to do. And I think that's, that's the crutch of this system. It relies too heavily on map data still. And it's just not good unless there's good map data. But we'll see how it improves on future versions. Um, again, uh, this objectively was worse if we were going on the metric of disengagements. But um, we are going to do our drive up to Biltmore. I'm actually not going to record this. Uh, I'm just going to go straight to Asheville. And we'll see you back then. I appreciate everyone watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.